Hello, today we'll be covering the basics of what's underneath the hood. We'll start by locating the hood release. Normally located somewhere easily accessible by the driver. Typically it'll have a drawing of a car and the hood popped open. Now you just want to pull on the handle. And next to the handle you can see that it has the OBD2 port connection, which is used to scan your vehicle's computer. And this is a hood release on a 2010 Chevy Colorado. Now we want to open the secondary latch which would be a lever that you move in some direction. In this case being one you move to the right. Next we got our oil fill cap, which most newer cars have labeled what weight oil to use on your car. This one being 5W30. Next we got our engine oil dipstick, which we use to determine how much oil we have in our car. Now we got our air filter housing which holds our air filter. This is the engine's mass airflow sensor, which the computer uses to determine how much air is entering the engine. This is our brake master cylinder and our brake booster. The brake master cylinder distributes brake fluid to your front and rear brake, which it uses to stop our vehicle. Next we got our serpentine valve which drives components like the power steering pump, alternator, and air conditioning compressor. All being pulled tight by our tensioner, which we release when we're removing the serpentine belt. Now we got our coolant reservoir which holds the engine's coolant. If you never want to open when the car is hot, it will be under pressure. And now our washer fluid reservoir which you never want to add anything but washer fluid to. And we got our positive battery jumper terminal. Which we use if we ever want to jump start the car. And this is our ground jumper terminal. On this vehicle the battery is located in the trunk. So instead of opening the trunk, they provide us jumper terminals. And underneath that cover is a turbo. And this is our oxygen sensor, which the computer uses to determine how well the engine is running. And this is the engine made for a 2010 Chevy Colorado. You will notice some differences and some similarities. On the left, we have our air lid, which holds the air cleaner. And above that is a cooling reservoir and washer fluid container. And this is our alternator, which our vehicle uses to charge our battery while driving. And here we got our throttle body. The more you press your gas pedal, the more this opens and allows more airflow. And here we got our brake booster and master cylinder. The battery. And this is the fuse box, which on the underside of the cover tells us what the fuses are for. And here we got our cooling fan. This cooling fan pulls in colder air from the front through the radiator. And just behind it is the radiator. And that about does it for the basics of what is under the hood. Thank you for watching and I hope you found this video helpful and informative.